Hey, Tech here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. So DECA today actually released something that we were waiting for from pretty long, and it's the possibility to use your phone instead of the DECA move to use hip locomotion in your games. How does it work? It does work as well as the DECA move? Well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are, so very fast. If you don't know anything about the Tekka Move, well, this is a little accessory. We made a video about it not so long ago, and you can find it over here. By the way, you can use this little accessory to use hip locomotion in VR that is different from the usual locomotions that we have uh, with our head or using teleportation or using our hand to actually move around. So this is a new, fresh solution, and I actually loved it, and I'm still using it right now every time. the break hopefully what was i saying well yeah i still use it right now i hope i'm gonna still be able to use it but i find it much more natural uh, than using my hands or using my head so uh, when the game supported i always use it some games are fantastic like no man's sky i kind of rediscovered using the deca and going around just feel more natural and stuff but yeah for sure amazing i recommend it Oh, well, right now you can use it with your phone instead. And so it's something. By the way, I really appreciate the move because these things just went on sale and they still just decided to give the possibility to everyone to actually use their software just using a phone and have pretty much the same results. And it's not something that you see that often from uh, companies. So Deca, good job. You guys are lovely. But now let's make it happen. So the procedure is pretty easy. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Uh, you have just to register to the beta because yes, this is still a beta software and download the Deca Hub beta and the Deca Move application on your Android device. Now it's not available yet on the iOS, so uh, no iPhone for now, but it's gonna arrive in the future. So like with the regular Deca, you will open now the app, and then you open your application in your phone and it's gonna start looking for the computer. When it discovers, you just click on it and well, that's it. You have your Deca Move directly in your phone moving around. Yeah, it's that easy. Now the application is gonna use the accelerometer and the compass on your phone. So how do you make sure that it's calibrated in the right way? Well, you can go to Google Maps and click on your little dot of where your position is. And uh, on the bottom left, you're gonna find calibrate sensor. You make this movement uh, for a while until it says that, uh, well, the accuracy is pretty good and uh, you're good to go. And now that it's connected, we just put our headset on and start our game from the PC, actually. All right, here we are. So the app is running, so we just put it on our pocket. It's better to have some tight jeans or something so the thing doesn't move around, find a position where it doesn't move. And as you can see already on the bottom over here, we have the Deca Move that is our phone this time working. And uh, it's pretty precise. As you can see, it follows the hip movement and now we can just start our game uh, let's go on the desktop and uh, let's just start one right all right and here we are on onward remember to always set uh, your locomotion with the head based so uh, then the deca will be able to do its own things and uh, well you're pretty much good to go the only thing we have to do is to calibrate it so we put this in this position we look up and uh, well, uh, it does the calibration and you can see the direction with your hip. Another very uh, nice thing, nice touch, is that the phone is gonna do a little vibration when you calibrate it. And uh, so you know when it's calibrated. But let's go around and let's see how it works. So um, there are some enemies around, so hopefully they're not gonna shoot you. As you can see, I change the position of my hip and I can go in different direction if they let me. <laughs> and here we go again. The cool thing is the movement is gonna be completely independent uh, from your hand movement, as you can see, completely independent from your head movement. As you can see, we are keep going around, even if I do like this, always in the same direction, following always the hip. So uh, imagine you go around, you can uh, shoot in a direction, um, shoot in a direction, look in one, and have your hand in the other direction, keep going where you want it to go. I find it absolutely amazing and super useful. And uh, 
Yeah, this is uh, the Deccan move. Uh, let's try a bit to see uh, if it keeps it better. Whoa! So the most important thing is that when you're gonna move, attack, it's gonna follow the movement of your body more than the movement of just your hand or just your head, for example. And that's absolutely amazing while playing. Now, the only thing that is apparently missing is the fact that you're always gonna have that interface uh, telling you the direction and the battery life of it. The battery life actually doesn't reflect yet uh, the battery life on your phone because it's not a 99%. And well, when the, in the Deca move, you could just click on it and that would disappear. Uh, now it's always there. So I don't know if they're a feature they're gonna add in the future, but yes, uh, right now that is stuck there all the time. All right, and here we are in Alex. Uh, so let's try a bit here. This is a mod, by the way, it's super cool. Uh, but yeah, I think like, uh, you know, uh, it just it just works. It's pretty cool indeed. You, you can uh, aim that way. And as you can see, uh, it keeps it stable. Oh my God, this part. It is dark. Fuck. Bastard. It's really dark. But yeah, it works. I did I end up here, by the way. Alright, so what do I think about this? Well, I think that Deca just did it again. It works very, very well. Pretty much like the Deca move. I have to say that I uh, noticed this is a bit more of movement, even when you don't want to, also because you're using a phone and uh, yeah, it, that thing moves around uh, your pocket no matter what. And also putting it in your pocket might be not ideal because, well, uh, you get all the movements also from uh, just a singular leg instead of uh, putting on the hip. So if you have those uh, old funny packs and stuff that to put your phone in and uh, with the belt, probably that might be uh, the best solution if you keep it as stable as the little uh, that can move, of course. But yeah, the experience is absolutely amazing. It's free, so uh, why not? And there are so many games already supported. So yeah, you can really play pretty much everything you want. But yeah, if this is the first version of the beta software to make this revolution in locomotion and is actually also free, there's really nothing to complain. I would like to see something to hide uh, the HOD uh, when you are in VR. There will be something uh, for the future to have, maybe a button as you have in the Deca Move, also in the application, so you can just hide it and stuff, or maybe a toggle in uh, your Steam VR settings and stuff like that to put it on and off whenever you want. But really, should you consider, should you go download uh, the Deca Move hub and uh, the Deca Move app? Absolutely, yes. Again, it's free. Again, it's a, a way to have a different kind of locomotion that really helps a lot and makes things much more immersive. So, dude, there, there's nothing to lose, really. I still personally use the Deca Move because it's smaller, you can put it on your belt and something like that. So it's a little more precise, but really, uh, it's really effortless to just open the phone application while you open uh, the Deca Hub on the PC and uh, use it in that way. So yeah, try it and you'll be for sure super impressed. And then let me know in the comment below what you think about it. Also, of course, uh, the phone and the PC has to be on the same uh, wireless connection. So you're gonna be able to, uh, you know, discover it. Anyway, congrats to Deca for the amazing application. And yeah, I hope you guys are gonna try it and hopefully they're gonna create uh, an app directly for the Oculus Quest that would be absolutely fantastic uh, with an APK and something like that. Uh, I think they're actually working on it, but don't quote me on that, okay? But again, that was all guys. If you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, please like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. And if you really love the channel, there's a join button down there. And by the way, we are 95K, uh, 5K to go till the 100K. Uh, I decided to do a super crazy stuff. I'm gonna start to give away one Oculus Quest 2 each month till the end of the year. So I don't think we're gonna make it this month. If you wanna make it, uh, well, let's make it. Uh, but hopefully it's gonna be next month. And so we're gonna start month by month to give away the Quest. 
super awesome. But yeah, talking too much. So again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.